is the last part of our growth behavior of hair series. In this video, I'm going to cover other factors that can negatively or positively interfere with your natural hair growth pattern. Let's start with the positive. Before I start, let me explain that the average time your hair strands are in the active growth stage is limited by your genetics. But you do have some say on how well your hair does during this time constraint. So there are things you can do to maximize your rate of growth, the strength of your hair, and breakage rate within this genetic constraints. So based on your lifestyle, you're either on the highest or lowest area of your spectrum. Referring back to part two of this series, I mentioned that altogether an average person has about 100,000 hair strands on their head. And out of that, we have an average of 80 to 85,000 that are in the active growth stage. So based on your lifestyle choices, give or take, you can either have around 80 or 85% of your strands actively growing. Let's start with the obvious, keeping active and exercising. The main function of our bloodstream is to deliver nutrients to your organs, nails, and hair. In fact, the bloodstream delivers nutrients to every part of your body. When you're active, your heart beats faster, causing it to pump blood in and out faster, which speeds up blood circulation. When this happens, nutrients are being delivered faster and more frequently. Now staying active and eating right goes hand in hand. Exercising speeds up the delivery of those nutrients to your hair. But eating the right things makes sure you're delivering the best and most beneficial nutrients to your hair. The best type of foods to eat for optimal hair health and growth are the same old proteins, fruits, and vegetables that we're always hearing people preach about. Specific foods are easy to look up on your own. A bit of advice though, just keep in mind that the more raw your foods are, the better. I'm not suggesting to eat raw meats, but when it comes to fruits and vegetables, the less cooked they are, the more nutrition that they'll keep. To put it all together, your hair will not grow if your body thinks it's in trouble. Hair and nails get everything last. So if you're sick, stressed, unhealthy, or not getting enough sleep, your body will quickly go into preserve mode and sacrifice delivering nutrients to your hair and nails. It does this to conserve energy. It will not circulate as much blood to your hair matrix, quickly slowing down cell division and hair growth. Having poor nutrition, diet, and sleep patterns has a gradual effect on your body. So once it starts being visibly noticeable, it's very hard to reverse. So it's smart to incorporate these practices into your everyday lifestyle. MSM supplements is a big topic in the hair community, so I think it's worth filling out a Green Beauty scorecard on this topic. Next season, I plan to start an in-depth series on vitamins, oils, and ingredients with the use of Green Beauty scorecards. So this is a great example of what's to come. A scorecard is broken down into four sections. Description, ingredient, effect on hair, and side effects. Each section is given a rating, green, amber, or red. Based on those ratings, the supplement, oil, or ingredient is given an overall rating of green, amber, or red. It's easy to understand and provides a great snapshot on the product. So for MSM, it was traditionally used to treat bone pain and joint diseases such as osteoarthritis. But a side effect of hair growth soon caught notice. Its main ingredient is a sulfur-based compound that is naturally found in many foods such as milk, onion, garlic, and green vegetables. Next to water and salt, MSM is the third largest compound found in the human body. You can get it in the form of a pill, powder, and in food. It's proven that the sulfur in MSM helps hair growth by giving your body the building blocks for hair. There are rumors that suggest MSM lengthens the active growth stage, but that has not yet been scientifically proven. Based on its original use, the side effects of MSM is hair growth. But when taking it, start with a smaller dose like 500 milligrams and work yourself up from there. Too high of a dose intake can cause all types of severe side effects. It can also cause acne early on due to the removal of toxins from your body. So make sure to drink plenty of water. 
If the acne doesn't go away, talk to a doctor. Overall, I give MSM a rating of green. It provides your body with a boosted advantage and it's effective. Stress plays a big role in how your body functions. The more commonly known type of stress is emotional stress. It's caused from experiences you go through throughout your day and is usually temporary. In addition to emotional stress, there's physiological stress, which is completely different than emotional stress. It's when an event occurs that can change your appetite, raise levels of stress hormones, and cause you to lose sleep. All these are examples of physiological changes in your body. This type of stress is what affects your active growth stage. Earlier in this video, I mentioned that your hair will not grow if your body feels like it's in trouble. Your body will quickly go into preserve mode to conserve energy. So when you go through a physiological stress like the start of an oral contraceptive, dramatically losing weight, or experiencing a traumatic event, your body's gonna feel like it's in trouble. And goes into preserve mode. With less blood flow and nutrients going to your hair strands, a large amount of hair strands go into the rest stage at the same time. Four to six months later, these same hair strands go into the shed stage. This is when you notice a large amount of hair loss. In this piece, I'm defining dieting as cutting out major food groups or restricting your caloric intake. Weight is a huge topic in our country, and without proper knowledge, people tend to assume that the answer to their weight problem is to eat less. There are a few problems with this. First, you can't eat less forever, so it won't last. And secondly, this change causes your body to experience physiological stress and has all types of side effects. If you do overeat, you should gradually wean off to an appropriate proportion so your body has enough time to adjust to the change. Additionally, your mindset should change from eating less to eating smart. Our body is limited in what it can break down, so artificial anything turns into waste and fat in our body. So natural one ingredient foods like fish, chicken, vegetables, fruit and nuts is what our body is built for. And when you eat them regularly, your body will quickly start delivering four course meals to your hair strands. Paired with exercise, these four course meals will be delivered non-stop and around the clock. Your hair and your body will thrive. I'll end with a quick point. With all these different variables affecting our growth rate and our retention, it's more realistic to expect four inches of hair growth a year, rather than the six inches we often hear about. I definitely didn't cover everything in this video, but this is an ongoing conversation that I do plan to cover more in the next season. But for now, I hope this four-part series on the growth behavior of hair was a useful learning experience for you. See you in the next video.